And we want to get now to some developing news that is breaking just this minute over on Capitol Hill. And that is word of another Republican deciding to leave Congress. We're talking about Charlie Dent. Garrett Haig is over on Capitol Hill. Garrett, I was just handed the statement from Charlie Dent announcing his intention to resign basically next month, right? Talk us through this. Yeah, Hallie, this is interesting. So Charlie Dent, who would be a very familiar face to most of our viewers, he's uh, uh, on television quite a lot, a very much a moderate Republican, talks about himself as somebody in the sensible center, represented a Philadelphia suburbs area for quite some time. He had announced at the very beginning of this past year that he would be retiring at the end of his term. But now in this statement just released by his office today, he says, in fact, he will resign his seat in May. The statement doesn't get into specifics about why he might be doing so, although it does uh, serve as a reminder that in an election year, once we get to the summer months, there is very little legislating left to be done here on Capitol Hill. Focus here will shift almost entirely to the re-election efforts, particularly for those folks in the House who have to run every two years. But Dent is somebody uh, who I think a lot of people consider to be almost a dying breed in, in Republican circles, a Northeastern moderate Republican uh, who never embraced President Trump and who never embraced uh, so the, the Tea Party effort that preceded him, uh, yeah. a, sort of a, a man who essentially, I think, would say got left behind by his own party uh, in terms of what he represents and what the party represents. He had been a voice of uh, some degree of caution about the Trump movement and of the movement yeah. of his party towards becoming Donald Trump's party and now announcing today that come May, he will hang it up and return to Pennsylvania. But Garrett, pragmatically, does this, does Charlie Dent's departure from Congress at this point in time in May realistically, legislatively change anything? I get the sense that while he may be a voice speaking out against Donald Trump then and again on cable and, and, and over on the Hill, it, it doesn't seem like he is a swing vote when it comes to actual policy. Am I off base? Mm. No, you're you're right on, Hallie. I mean, he's somebody who would be generally allied with leadership. You know, you would see him. This is somebody who's going to vote with Paul Ryan and vote against the Freedom Caucus folks time and time again. It might make this a tiny gradient more difficult for leadership to pass something in which they know they might lose conservative votes. But again, when you're talking May, you're talking the start of election season. So I don't think you're right. going to see too many of those big fights in which Charlie Dent's vote would be crucial. And he, it, kind of in a similar way to Jeff Flake in the Senate got to a point where he's essentially speaking for himself. There aren't a bunch of right. other Republican lawmakers lined up behind Charlie Dent who say, as goes Charlie Dent, so go I. Uh, he has been something of a lone dissenter in a lot of ways. Uh, Garrett Hake doing double duty for us this morning over on Capitol Hill. Garrett, thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.